I'm Dr. Gülnar Maharamova, an endodontist based in Baku, Azerbaijan. I also lecture endodontics at Azerbaijan State Advanced Training Institute for Doctors. In this video, I'll walk you through the case where I use TJ6 files by Perfect Endo. Let's take a closer look at the file range. The file system is made of an advanced modern metallurgy, which allows it to be more flexible and more resistant to cyclic fatigue. There are two types of files according to their function. V-type is for shaping and T-type is for finishing the shaping. It is crucial to know that the system has triangle at cross-section. The files are to be used at 300 RPMs and at a torque between 1.5 to 3 newton centimeters. Now coming to the clinical case, our patient is 37 years old female with complaints on severe pulsation and pain to hot and cold stimuli. On clinical observation, we found the tooth to be an abutment for the bridge. Before we started the treatment, the bridge was replaced with a temporary one, since the other abutment tooth is vital. On periapical x-ray, taken after the removal of a bridge, we found a deep decay caused by inadequate preparation and fixation of a previous bridge. CBCT proved the presence of C-shaped root canal system. After removal of the mineralized tissues, I proceeded with orifice shaping by using V0 file designed specifically for this purpose. V0 is 0.4 taper 19mm file. I used it in a rotational motion and brushing technique. As a result, you can see an effective preflaring of the orifice. The next step was to scout and to establish a glide path, as well as to obtain a working length by using electronic apex locator. The X-ray was taken to confirm the showings of the apex locator. 5.25% sodium hypochloride is used throughout the shaping following each file to wash out debris and disinfect the root canal space. Now when we have a glide pass, we can proceed with the shaping of the middle portion of the root canal system. For this purpose, I used V1 and V2 files. V1 is 0.2 taper and V2 is 0.4 taper files, which allow gradual and conservative shaping along with comfortable pass to the apical portion of the root canal system. The next two files, T1 and T2, 
are finishing files, which we use to the working lengths. T1 has apical size 20 and taper 0.7. T2 has apical size 25 and taper 0.8. To obtain a better cleaning, I use sonic activation during a final irrigation. Moreover, the principle of continuous chelation by mixing 5.25% sodium hypochlorite and 17% EDTA solution was applied to get the effective disinfection of a complex anatomy. After the irrigation, the canal space was dried and the sealer was placed. According to irregularities and complexity of a root canal space, in this specific case, I used injection of worm gutta percha to get a better sealing and obturation. Finally, when the access cavity is cleaned from excess of gutta percha and sealer, the patient can proceed with the restoration.